Hello there, my name is Ben Baer. I am a fellow at the Ayn Rand Institute. Uh, the Ayn Rand Institute is an educational foundation that is devoted to the work and the philosophy of Russian-born American novelist and philosopher Ayn Rand. She was the author of such books as The Fountainhead, Anthem, Atlas Shrugged, probably best known for the latter, Atlas Shrugged, uh, which has been one of my favorite books for more than 20 years. I've always found it to be a gripping mystery and philosophical drama. I really think there's no other book like it, and that's even if you compare it to Rand's other books. It is famous for expressing uh, Rand's distinctive and controversial philosophy of objectivism, but I think reading it is also a kind of grand aesthetic experience, and it's for that reason that millions of people have read this book over the years and have been influenced by it. Uh, and that includes a, a lot of well-known business people, athletes, politicians, artists, really people from all walks of life. It turns out that 2017 is the 60th anniversary of the publication of Atlas back in 1957. And for that reason, among others, I'm heading up a project uh, called the Atlas Project, which is in part commemorating this anniversary. Before I tell you any more about what the project is about, I want to talk a little bit more about what the book is about. And so to that end, I've brought on my friend and colleague, Greg Salmieri, who's a lecturer in philosophy at Rutgers University. He's a scholar of Ayn Rand's philosophy and uh, literary works, and he is the editor of the recent Companion to Ayn Rand, which is available from Wiley Blackwell Press. So Greg, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what this book is all about? Hi, Ben. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Uh, well, we got to describe it in a way that doesn't give spoilers. Uh, and it's hard to do that more dramatically than the copywriters, I guess, whoever it is, who came up with some of the text on the back covers of different copies. One describes it as a mystery about the murder and rebirth of man's spirit. Uh, elsewhere, it's described as a story about the man who said he'd stop the motor of the world and did. Uh, the book opens on a world where something's wrong, but it's hard both for readers and for the characters in that world to put their finger on what it is that's gone world wrong. Uh, there's a lot of poverty in places where it seems like there shouldn't be. Um, a lot of incompetence uh, by you know people in positions where you wouldn't expect to find that. People are acting out of character, in some cases just disappearing. And the whole world seems to be pervaded by a spirit of hopeless resignation. And against this backdrop, we follow some characters who are the opposite of hopeless and resigned. Ambitious industrialists who are dedicated to grand scale projects, projects to which they're deeply personally committed and on which they think the fate of the whole world depends. And these industrialists come up in various ways against the things that we've said are wrong with the world. And over the course of the novel, they and the reader together try to understand what's going on, why their ambitions are being thwarted, and they adapt their behaviors in light of their evolving understanding of the world and the people in it. And through this process of discovery and maybe you say experimentation, uh, the philosophy that you mentioned earlier, objectivism, uh, comes out. Uh, Rand describes the novel as about the role of reason in man's existence, which is a pretty good description of what philosophy is about. Uh, and it has radical ethical and political uh, implications. But it's also just a very gripping personal novel um, with, you know, just deep and nuanced characters taking dramatic actions in, you know, some of the most heart-wrenching situations I've encountered. It's a favorite novel, I mean, encountered in literature. It's also uh, been my favorite novel since I read it also, uh, I don't know how many years ago, but decades. Th great. Thank you, Greg. So if that sounds like the kind of book that would interest you, the Atlas Project might be something that you want to participate in. Uh, we're going to be starting September 2nd, a date that figures prominently in the book itself. Basically what the project is, is a major online reading group. Uh, we'll be discussing a chapter of the book a week, starting in early September, ending around late April. Basically, the, this group is gonna consist of two things. First of all, just an online forum 
where people who are participating in the group and, and working on the same schedule together can post ideas and thoughts and questions about the book. But then to facilitate all of this, uh, there will also be a weekly live broadcast hosted by Greg and me on Facebook Live uh, every week where we will be discussing some discussion questions that we posted a week or so in advance, um, having looked at the uh, material that's come up uh, on the online group itself. Greg, you want to say a little bit more about what you think, uh, more about what this format is going to look like and, and why you think it should be interesting? Yeah, it's a, it's a format that's new to both of us. Uh, ben and I have both been university professors. I, I still teach it at Rutgers, and we've each taught Atlas Shrugged in courses once in a while over the years, but and taught many other books, of course, but we've never done this online kind of uh, discussion leading, and we're not really sure how it'll work. What we'd like to do is try to simulate the kind of thing we do, or rather recreate on a grander scale, the kind of thing we do in a class where we put questions out to the people reading the book, get some of their ideas, ideas back, get them interacting with one another, and interact with them ourselves in a way that helps them to engage with the novel and with its philosophical content. And um, exactly how that'll work, you know, is something we're going to have to experiment with online, but we're going to be posting discussion questions. We're going to be reading your answers to them. We're going to be talking about those answers and any questions that you guys might be raising in the uh, in the live streams that we do. And some of the time we hope we'll be able to do those live streams with um, with live audiences in, uh, I'm in the greater New York area, Ben's in, uh, in New Orleans. And so we'll have some more kind of discussion group stream live. Uh, we're interested in ideas from you and feedback about how to do this better, what kind of things you'd like to see. Uh, we're hoping that the project, you know, is a larger thing than our just coming on Facebook every every week. And uh, so that there's a lot of discussion online. Maybe there are other possibilities, uh, discussion groups with people in different cities around the world. If you have people in your area who are interested, might be interested in reading the book together, you could do that, keep pace with us and maybe report back to the, uh, to the Facebook group. Maybe we'll visit one of you guys and go live with you uh, one of the weeks. So just, you know, tell us what you're thinking. What would make this uh, a more engaging experience for you? What would help you guys to get the most out of uh, reading and thinking through a novel that's um, really a life-changing experience for millions of people? Great, thank you. And so one thing I want to emphasize, especially, we are really uh, aiming to find people who've not read this book before. That's, I think, the primary intended audience for the Atlas Project. And so as a result, the both uh, both the broadcasts that we do and the online discussion forum, or at least the primary one, are, are going to have very strict no spoilers policies, and we will enforce that as as best as we can. Uh, and that's because there's a real pleasure that comes from finding out what happens uh, and uh, seeing uh, how these mysteries get resolved. And I think for those of you who who have read it before having taught the novel a few times in, in a class where some of the students had already read it and maybe that's what interested them in that class and others hadn't, um, there's a real pleasure to reading a book like this with people who haven't read it before. You get to see it uh, through fresh eyes. So um, I don't think that should be something that's a, a drag on the experience of people who are reading it uh, uh, for a second or third or fourth time. Uh, it helps to understand it better and to appreciate it better to see how people process it uh, who don't, you know, haven't seen all the answers in the back of the book. But th there is a pleasure on your second read through a book like this or third in noticing connection, things that are foreshadowing other things. Or, oh, that's why he knew that then because this earlier thing happened. And so I think we'll set up another uh, Facebook forum where people can feel free to discuss spoilers. Um, but that's a, you know, call it a side project. Great. So this, I think that that's everything that we wanted to talk about in this particular video. I want to say that we're going to have a couple more videos uh, coming up shortly where Greg and I also talk a little bit about our experience having taught classes about Atlas Shrugged in the past, what we liked about it, how this gave us the idea to do this online project. 
uh, and also our own personal experiences having read the book for the first time. But the uh, just want to remind you, if, if this interests you, please uh, like the Atlas Shrugged official Facebook page. That's where the broadcasts will originate from. And then please join the Facebook Atlas Project group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash Atlas Project. The first class is on September 2nd. So we hope to see a lot of you then. And please post in the comments on this video in the Atlas Project group uh, ideas you have for things that would make this more interesting to you. Uh, if you want to start a local group, you know, post ideas about that. Uh, see if there's anyone around who wants to be involved. If uh, there are other things maybe you want to read in connection with the novel or certain kinds of questions you want to have in mind, post about that. If there are things you'd like to hear us talk about either during the group or you know, before it starts uh, to get an idea of what we have in mind, post about that. We'll do a video about it or we'll respond in the comments. Uh, we really want this to be something that's interactive with you. It's not like we've got some sort of super rigid plan of exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we want there to be back and forth. All right. Thanks, Greg. And we'll see you all uh, on the next video. Yeah. And on September 2nd.